In 1982, a groundbreaking experiment forever changed how we understand the universe. A test so bizarre that Albert Einstein himself famously called its implications spooky action at a distance. It was a test that proved, beyond any doubt, that everything in our reality is connected, even when it appears to be separate. This is the story of the aspect experiment, the day physics confirmed that what we see is only a fraction of what is real. But what exactly happened inside that French laboratory? And why does this experiment continue to be one of the most profound and mysterious proofs in the history of science? To understand its impact, we have to go back in time to a legendary debate between two of the 20th century's greatest minds. Decades before the experiment, a huge intellectual battle was raging. On one side was Albert Einstein, who, along with his colleagues Podolsky and Rosen, came up with what we now call the EPR paradox. They argued that the new theory of quantum mechanics had to be incomplete. Why? Because it predicted something that seemed completely absurd, that two particles, once linked, could instantly influence each other, no matter how far apart they were. Imagine two coins, flipped at the same time on opposite sides of the planet. If one lands on heads, the other instantly lands on tails, every single time. Einstein found this idea ridiculous. He believed firmly that nothing, absolutely nothing, could travel faster than the speed of light. Information simply couldn't jump across vast distances in an instant. But on the other side of the debate was Niels Bohr, a pioneer of quantum theory. Bohr insisted that the universe was indeed that strange. He argued that when two particles are created together, they become entangled. They remain linked by an invisible, unbreakable thread that transcends both space and time. Measuring one particle instantly affects the other, not because a signal travels between them, but because on some fundamental level, they are still part of the same system. For decades, this was just a philosophical debate. There was no way to prove who was right. Was it Einstein's common sense reality or Bohr's spooky interconnected quantum world? The question hung in the air, unanswered, until a French physicist named Alan Aspect decided he would be the one to finally settle the score. He was going to test the impossible. So, in 1982, at the Institute of Optics near Paris, Alain Aspect and his team built a remarkable machine. Its sole purpose was to directly test the theory of entanglement. The setup was elegant, but incredibly precise. They generated pairs of entangled photons, tiny particles of light, created at the exact same moment. These photons were then shot out in opposite directions toward detectors placed several meters apart. As each photon traveled, it passed through a special filter that would measure its polarization, which you can think of as the orientation or angle of its light wave. Now, here's the crucial part. According to Einstein's view, since the photons were separate, the measurement of one should have no bearing on the measurement of the other. The results should be random and independent, like flipping two separate coins. But if quantum mechanics and entanglement were correct, the photons would behave as if they were in communication. The measurement of one photon would instantly correlate with the measurement of its entangled twin. When Aspect and his team turned on the machine and started collecting data, the results were astonishingly clear. The photons showed correlations that were mathematically impossible to explain through any classical, local communication. It was as if each photon instantly knew what measurement was being performed on its partner, violating our everyday understanding of space and separation. In that moment, the debate was over. Einstein, the genius who redefined our cosmos, was wrong. Quantum physics, in all its weirdness, was right. So, what does this truly mean for us? The implications are staggering. It means that the universe is far more interconnected than we ever imagined. Every particle, every atom, every living thing is part of a vast, invisible web. 
The seemingly empty space between objects isn't empty at all. It's part of a field of information that links everything together. What we perceive as distance might just be an illusion, a construct of our minds trying to make sense of a reality that is fundamentally whole and undivided. Some physicists refer to this phenomenon as non-locality. Others prefer the term holistic reality. But whatever you call it, the meaning is the same. The universe doesn't operate like a collection of separate parts. Instead, it behaves like a single, unified, and perhaps even conscious system. This experiment didn't just confirm a theory. It ripped a hole in our classical perception of reality, forcing us to confront a much deeper, more mysterious truth about the nature of existence itself. Naturally, the moment the results of the aspect experiment were published, the world of science and philosophy exploded with new questions. If subatomic particles can be entangled and influence each other instantly across any distance, what else in the universe might be connected in this way? Could human consciousness be entangled? Is your mind, my mind, and the very fabric of reality itself part of this quantum web? Some forward-thinking researchers have proposed that the human brain might be uniquely tuned to this quantum field, which could potentially explain phenomena that have puzzled us for centuries, like intuition, flashes of insight, and synchronicity, those meaningful coincidences that feel too perfect to be random. This idea of non-local consciousness isn't just confined to spiritual circles. It has been explored, sometimes secretly, at the highest levels. During the Cold War, for instance, intelligence agencies on both sides were rumored to have programs exploring the practical applications of non-local phenomena. Projects like the CIA's Stargate program allegedly investigated remote viewing, the ability to perceive distant locations using only the mind. While much of this remains shrouded in secrecy and speculation, the underlying question is powerful. Were governments attempting to harness the principles of quantum entanglement to influence events from a distance? We may never know the full truth behind these clandestine projects, but one thing is undeniable. The aspect experiment wasn't just an end to an old debate. It was the beginning of a new chapter in our quest to understand reality, opening the door to a world where nothing is truly separate and everything is profoundly connected. So, back in 1982, Alan Aspect did more than just prove a point in a physics debate. He gave us a glimpse into the very language of reality. He showed us that the strange, counterintuitive rules of quantum mechanics aren't just a bizarre theory for tiny particles. They are the fundamental operating system of our entire cosmos. Every thought you have, every atom in your body, Every star in the sky is participating in an invisible, intricate dance that connects all things across space and time. This profound insight invites us to reconsider our place in the universe. Perhaps the feeling of being separate individuals is the ultimate illusion, and perhaps consciousness isn't something that happens inside our heads, but is instead the cosmic thread that weaves together the magnificent, interconnected web we call the universe. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey into one of science's greatest mysteries. If you found this exploration of quantum reality as fascinating as I do, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the nature of our universe. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What does this interconnectedness mean to you? Until next time, keep questioning everything.